when Corey unfortunately left this world, he, uh, um, he had over 12,000 people at his wake and funeral. Um, they were mo very moved by the service. And uh, many asked us, you know, just where does, where does a boy like this come from? What, what happened uh, uh, to, have, to have Corey have so many people there, so many people that loved him? We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Corey. I don't think uh, Corey made up the phrase, go big or go home, but he certainly lived that, and we wanted to make sure that that was what this was all about. Whatever we do to honor Corey, it has to be big, because he would have wanted it that way. Foundation was started to honor Corey. He was my nephew, he was a great kid. At a very young age, he made a lot of impact on uh, children with needs and was very involved in his faith and he was big on family. And we started this foundation to honor that. Um, we've had a tremendous amount of success and I think we're starting to make a lot of impact in those three focus areas. The focus of the Corey Griffin Foundation is really kids. We call it Corey's Kids and uh, you know children in need in any form. First and foremost the Corey House which is affiliated with Children's Hospital for families that need to utilize that house as an extended stay. It's going to be built over in Brookline. It's going to house families of sick kids. So many of them just don't have the um, resources to stay in town while the kids are being treated, especially extended care kids. So that is going to be something that's going to be so special. I think that they've raised almost actually $3 million so far for that um, initiative. Corey really loved the Burton family, what they stood for, what they've done for so many people. They just donated a brand new athletic field for the kids for 250000 And continue to support the world-class focus on pediatric head trauma at Children's Hospital. They've raised over a million dollars for concussion research. Corey had lots of things he was really interested in, and uh, the John Paul School in Dorchester. We're trying to raise a million dollars for continuing scholarships for the kids in that community to go to school there. It is one of the most amazing places that I've ever personally been. All of our kids have aspired to be lawyers, doctors, accountants. Some of them have even wanted to start their own businesses. We keep the kids from 6, 6.30 in the morning till 6 o'clock at night. And so a lot of the reason they go to our school is for safety, as well as it is for education. And they get two and a half meals a day, which a lot of these kids that's the only time they really get to eat, so it's also giving them a quality of life they wouldn't be able to have otherwise. These kids have such a great opportunity there. They're being so well educated, so well loved, and uh, as a result, they've got a 99% success rate in terms of graduation rate, getting into great schools, uh, beyond uh, into high schools, and then into college. I go to St. John Paul's Second Catholic Academy. I have a couple of things that I want to be when I grow up. One is to be a teacher. Two is to I want to be a veterinarian. I really like to do math and science. An architect slash interior designer. School is great. It makes me learn more and I have great knowledge to share with other people. A lot of the kids at St. John Paul, they're very passionate about education and about their school life. I know who Corey Griffin was. He was a loving person who loved his family, and he always helped someone who was left out. If people were like lonely at recess or lunch or something, that he would always include them in the activities and stuff. He helped give money to our school to help me and others learn so we could get an education. There's been a transference from you know, missing Corey and going to an event for Corey's benefit to focusing on Corey's kids. And that's, that's kind of the way we want it to be. Everything we're doing is something Corey was doing and would have continued to do had he still been with us. These people that have been helping and supporting Corey's charity are, are truly family to us. And so many of them are, were Corey's close friends and so many of them have been so generous with their time and have been so wonderful to Corey's foundation. We, we, can't, we can't tell you how much we appreciate it.